Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Stellaris. So, I've allowed a little bit of time to go by, probably about, uh, well, actually almost a couple of years, to be honest, have gone on since the last episode, while I've been building up the Federation fleet for the Harmonious League. It's now to 356 naval capacity, 30 corvettes, 25 destroyers, 27 cruisers, and 21 battleships. Not a bad fleet in and of itself. Now, the intent from, for this is I'm going to use it to hold down this flank when we go to war against the Upper Kingdom. I want my main fleet over here, dealing with these guys. Um, and I want the Federation fleet to kind of be over here, dealing with the Mandate of Yim. Hopefully the Terrafians and the Democratic Dairy Sons will fight each other up here. That's my hope. If the Terrafians come down this way, we might have to rethink our strategy. But I don't think we'll have too much of a problem, because right now we have a really good opportunity. A large part of the Mandate and Terrafian fleets are right here in this system. Um, they've got a number of warships. Um, I mean, there's 30,000 Terrafian hierarchy warships there, another 7,000 there, uh, 17,000 military power of Mandate fleet there, and there's another small Terrafian fleet, fleet over here. So we can basically deal a massive blow to the Mandate and the Terrafians in one attack as soon as we declare this war, which is what I'm going to do right now. Our fleets are over here in Antares. Um, got both the Federation fleet and my fleet joined up at the edge of the system. Basically ready to jump in as soon as I give the word. And we're going to go both in on this target, then we'll chase down this target, and then we head over here and start dealing with the uh, Upper Kingdom. That's it. That's my plan. Let's actually declare the war. Now, I don't actually know what I want. I want, I guess, from the Upper Kingdom. The idea is just to weaken the Upper Kingdom. Uh, ideally, we want to take some territory from them, obviously. Maybe Firin Malba would be good. And maybe start working in this way. They've got a couple of systems quite close to us we could do with taking. So we want to focus our efforts around this area. Uh, so let's say we declare war. No unexpected enemies there. And we are going to want to take from the, the Firin Malba system. There we go. And we are going to want to take whatever they've got in Galpin. One more planet there. And let's see. If we could take the Upper Kingdom homeworld, that would be pretty goddamn impressive. Yeah, not bad. Uh, so that's 54 war score. Let's give something to our allies. Let's humiliate the Upper Kingdom as well. And we'll give that to the Democratic Dairy Sons. It does say they'll already agree, but let's just be nice. Um, that might actually give me some extra bonus... Uh, some bonus opinion with them, which would be rather nice. But uh, 64 war score. Multiple enemies. This is going to be a big war, but I think we can handle it. So... Confirm. Okay. we just got to wait for that to be agreed, and then we can jump in. So... As soon as I hear that noise, there we go, we are at war. Okay, both fleets. You have your targets. We want to deal with the larger fleet first, if we can. Uh, they should be pretty much ready to jump immediately. They're already outside the jump edge of the system, so... I'm expecting to see a countdown happening straight away. 14, 13 days, 12 days. Okay, let's watch over here. Hopefully they don't try and flee. Oh, they are moving. Oh, no, we're already here. Screw you guys. It's all on. It's on. Their, their transports are trying to get out, but it's not going to work for them. Let's go down to fast speed. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We we definitely have the numbers here. So we don't really need to be worried about anything. The only thing I'm noticing is the Federation fleet's not here. Where, why is the Federation fleet not here? Come on. Come on, get in here. Man, there's a, there's a lot of slowdown happening here. Okay, one day. Come on, get that Federation fleet in here as well. I want that extra firepower. Thank you. Okay, now we've got all the firepower in the world. We've got lots of ships moving in. Let's go back up to fast speed, I guess. Um, how is their fleet doing? It's looking pretty bad, actually, for them. They've got a lot of lasers firing. I'll give them that. But uh, gamma lasers aren't really going to cut it against this amount of firepower. We've got so many fighters launching. We've got the Federation fleet at the back here. Uh, yeah, you can see they're already taking significant losses. They've lost about... Terafi the Mandate's already lost almost 17,000. Terafians, which was our primary target, have lost another 
8,000 military power. Oh, and that fleet at the back's coming in as well. Okay. What we got? Hostile fleet present. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care about that. Uh, debris in Wolgum. Oh, that's the system I'm in. Okay, well, yes, I kind of imagined there would be debris from this giant battle we're having right now. And the first, yeah, our fleet are in combat. We knew that. That's fine. Man, lots of wreckage at the frontier. Okay, looks like the Mandate of Yim fleet's gone entirely. Most of those transports have been destroyed. Terafian fleets are just absolutely melting. Look at all those fighters swirling around them. Jesus. Okay, I think they might have actually fled there at the end, but let's see. So, the Ninth Star Hunters took no losses in that um, and did... They got a respectable amount of kills there. I think most of the damage is going to have come from this one. The first fleet of the Terran Federation. We lost a cruiser, a corvette, and two battleships. Ouch. Okay, we actually lost some battleships. Um, but we took out a lot of stuff. They did get away with a fair few number of ships there, though. More than I would have liked, I'll be honest. There's definitely several battleships. They got away with some transport ships. What else? Uh, okay, they lost a lot. Which is good. I'm okay with that. So, where was that other fleet? Over here. I would like to destroy that fleet. Because that's another 15,000 military power. If we can get in on top of these guys, that would be rather amazing as well. So we'll immediately set course over there. Hopefully the Upper Kingdom doesn't respond too quickly. I don't know what my allies are doing. I haven't told them to meet up with me. They're on. They're doing their own thing. So just don't do anything too stupid. What have we got over here? 30,000 dem 30, military power fleet from the Democratic Deary Sons engaging in this system. Uh, given that I've just wiped out most of the Terafian fleet, they should actually have a pretty easy time with this. I'm not. I'm hoping they're not going to have too many problems. Uh, oh wow, have we already jumped into that system? Holy crap, we're already there. Well, that's uh, that was slightly unexpected, but I'll take it. You know what? We're not actually going to need both fleets for this. Where are you guys? You guys are jumping over there. No, actually, jump up here. Let's start taking out some spaceports so they can't rebuild stuff. This smaller fleet should be pretty good at doing this, actually. If we can take out a bunch of theirs of the support network around here, we'll have a much better time. So yeah, you guys can jump around and do stuff like that. We're going to destroy this fleet here. Oh, they are running for it. Uh, are they? Ooh, no, they're turning around. They're milling. They look confused. They look scared. I think, I think they're unsure what they want to do. They want to stand and fight and defend their territory, but... Uh, Hostile fleet engaged. There's, there's just a big pile of death coming down at them. Uh, the Star Hunters are engaging. Should just be taking out platforms. Oh, and we call their tra transport ships as well. That's a pretty decent pickup, actually. Yeah, pretty much killed all of those, and we're going to take out that f space station. Very nice. Situation updated. Did you guys lose anything in that? No, no, you did not. Fantastic. Uh, we, however, are engaging something over here. What are we engaging? Oh, it looks like we're taking out the spaceport. That's fine. It's not going to last very long. Ooh, don't know what that was, but it's not there anymore. That got deleted in one salvo. Yeah, this is can't even respond because of the massive long range we've got here. That fleet did flee, though. They've left. Cowards. Are we going to chase them? I would like it if you chase them. Actually, you are going to chase them. Perfect. They've gone up here. I don't want them to engage the... No, they might try and engage that fleet. They are... No, they're going to skip past them. That should be okay. What was that? We have eyes on a new murder. Oh, over there. That's fine. Don't really need to worry about that. So we've done a lot of damage. Ouch, what's coming on here? Oh, they've just built some ships. That's okay. No, nope. no, nope. we've got... They are coming in behind us. Okay, I could use you guys over here. You are coming into support. I just need you to arri actually kind of arrive. Otherwise, the Federation fleet's going to have a bad day. I mean, they've definitely got the edge, but I don't want to lose too many ships. Oh god, they've actually brought in reinforcements. Well, that's not good. How are we actually doing? Are we losing anything? Yeah, we're going to lose some cruisers here. Oh, and we just lost a scientist as well. That's not good. Um, I'm going to deal with that momentarily. Don't don't let me forget that. Okay, no, actually, we're, the Federation fleet is actually... Oh, they fled. Nice. And this follow-up fleet is... Oh god! Got absolutely annihilated. Okay. 
Well, that's not too bad then. Are we... Do I get an update on how that went? No, you're still engaged with something. What are you still engaged with? A mining station, okay. Uh, right, well, you guys did your job pretty well. I don't think we're going to see much more of their fleets. What have they got left down here? Nothing. And, of course, the Teraphians are being attacked up here as well. Mandate of Yim lost almost 30,000 military power in the opening day of this engagement. So I'm going to take this fleet down to... Down to here, actually. We're going to move down to Coltress Nada, which will only take us a couple of jumps. We'll repair the station there, and then we'll head in to engage. And see what the Upper Kingdom is doing, because we haven't seen any of their fleets yet. So you guys are taking out that station. Brilliant. So what did you lose? You lost eight corvettes in that fight. Okay. Well, let's get you some replacement corvettes. Um, I know we actually lost a battleship, so let's get a new battleship for our fleet. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh, we also lost a couple of. We also lost a cruiser. Fleet engaged. Let's get another cruiser coming out. Situation log updated. Okay, you guys are just wrecking face. Lovely. Oh wow, those long-range energy Situation weapons are updated. brutal. Okay, right. Now that's done. Let's get ourselves a new researcher over here. Who's good? You're level 5, you can move over to that, and we'll hire someone new for the science ship itself. Okay, first fleet has already arrived. Wow, I forget how quickly we move when we've got this fleet going around. Um, unfortunately, it's going to take them longer to fly over to that station to repair than it is to actually... It, it took them to get to that star system because of that blimmin' dreadnought. That dreadnought is just so slow. That's not too much of a problem, though. We'll be alright. Uh, the fifth murder. Ooh. Oh, they've got 3.3k left. Um, up in Lyrium. That is in one of my systems, technically. That is ter my territory, quite honestly. Um, you guys are still heading down here. You're going to take out... They actually have got a couple of small fleets building up around here. Okay, let's change your orders. We want to deal with them, if we can. And then move on to that spaceport. We're already at 15% plus war score. How are my allies doing? Has anyone lost a battle yet? No. Very nice. And the Democratic Deary Sons have actually won some battles in Escont as well. Cool. As, long as, we, as soon as we start taking territory from Upper Kingdom, this should be over pretty quickly. We need less than 70, 70 war scores, so... That's not bad. Let's go up to fastest speed. Okay, ooh, they are building up forces, though. Are they all in the same system, or they're just travelling through... They're travelling through my territory. Yeah, okay, we're going to have an engagement here, by the looks of it. That's not a problem. Hostile fleet yeah, take, engage them, and then we'll take those guys out. I'm surprised they're not going to turn around and engage with them. Also, why do their ships look different? You've got kind of a, like a blue thing going on. You've got like a green thing going on. Oh, because you're repairing. Okay. Well, okay, this fleet's not long for this world, unfortunately. Yeah, just basically one-shotting the a battleship there quite nicely. Situation log updated. Right, where'd that second fleet go? I mean, they had a chance maybe to do, do something, to inflict some significant damage if they joined their forces, but they just hadn't. That poor little... What is that? Situation Corvette. You're gone. Right, chase those guys down for me, please. And we just increased our planet's sensor range by 10%. That's pretty handy. Uh, let's see. Extra shield hull points. Yeah, shield hit points. Yes, please. That would appeal. Okay, the fleet is repairing. Complete. Actually, they're going to jump before they, you get there. Head over there. And just As soon as they jump, we're going to try and follow them. Can I see where they're jumping to? Biffier. Oh, where's Biffier? I don't know where that is. Okay. Uh, there is a sm another fleet here. Head over here and just take out that space station. That's going to be the big the big thing that matters to us, I think. Let you guys repair, and we can go on the offensive against the Upper Kingdom. Don't know where their fleet is. Haven't seen it. Uh, we do have sensor range into their territory now, so we can actually see some stuff here. They've got a fortress there. They probably have got some ships in their home system, I would expect. We'll have to see. Okay, 
Star Hunters have jumped in. The Federation fleet's arrived. Going to take out that, and we'll probably just start blockading that world or something until there's a bigger target comes our way. Complete. The amount of damage we've done to them should hold them up for a while. Okay, first fleet is fully repaired. Time to go back on the offensive on a new front. We're going to jump directly on top of that fortress and take out that spaceport. Um, and then we're going to jump directly into their home system as well, take out whatever they've got there. In fact, we might just burn a little path of destruction around here. Clear out all these systems in one go. Because they've all got... Actually, you don't have a fortress. Interesting. I would expect most of them to have fortresses. No, apparently not. We did. We have destroyed the fortresses of the Upper Kingdom in these systems several times before, it is true. So we'll burn a path of destruction through here through those core systems because those are probably some of the oldest ones and then we'll come back here and siege this planet down that's my plan you guys should be about to engage very small engagement that's uh can you actually tell what size that spaceport is complete. no you can't actually tell you can probably work it out by looking at the Man of hull points he's got and stuff. Updated. Oh, they've got a colony Hostile ship in orbit as well. Engaged. Man. Okay, first fleet is all... Everyone's engaging everything. Right, you guys are just tearing up face. You're going to take out a bunch of mining outposts. That's fine. You guys are targeting... Oh, no, I thought they were targeting the colony ship, which would be a bit mean. But that's all done. Cool. Okay, right. Uh, you might as well take that out before it leaves. And then set up orbit there. Oh, I don't know what that is. Engaged. What have they got there? Cruiser, destroyer, and a corvette jumping into Dafana. Not really going to worry about that, to be honest. Got a transport fleet on the sensors. Not much else. Don't know where the main opera fleet is. Uh, looks like some of my support ships, my reinforcement ships, are coming in and taking out a transport. Uh, a few research stations on the way. That's fine. That's the problem when you trickle in reinforcements like this. I do want to have those Federation reinforcements I can send up as well. Let's get another Corvette for the Federation fleet. How are they doing on destroyers? Uh, they're doing okay on destroyers. Let's get another couple of cruisers coming out as well, though. And then we'll send those reinforcements in. You guys are about to jump. Perfect, we're up to 24% war score. We haven't even put any boots on the ground yet. Wow, first fleet already made the jump. I forget how quick jump drives are. That's crazy. And then everything's dead. That's kind of nice. Uh, are we going to take out... We could do with taking out some of these as well. That's actually a free, free mining stations. I wouldn't mind destroying that. Are you going to get in range? Yeah, you are. That's kind of handy sometimes. I don't like it when it Hostile prioritizes those mining stations over actual enemy Hostile fleets, but in this situation that kind of works. We can see a very small Upper Kingdom fleet there. We haven't really seen any major Upper Kingdom forces, which does kind of alarm me. You are orbiting that world. I mean, I could bring some troop transports over and invade it, or I could just build another army. You know what, I think I will. We, it's not like we can't afford to have more armies, and they are going to take a while to build. Uh, the quickest ones would be actually just to build a whole bunch of robotic armies. They're not great, but they are pretty quick to build, compared to a year for my gene warriors. Let's get a robotic army and just go nuts. Shame I don't actually have any clone vats anywhere. Does anyone have any clone vats? Oh, I do. 24 days for some clone armies. Okay, let's go for a combination of stuff. We'll get some clones, and we'll get some robots. And we're basically going to reenact part of uh, Star Wars here. Any more clone vats around? I don't think I've built very many, because I haven't really worried about it. No, okay, well that's 12, so that can allow us to do an invasion, and they'll be done pretty quickly. Okay, first fleet is just massacring all these stations still. Which I'm actually kind of surprised they're still here, considering the amount of firepower we have. Situation log. There we go, that's more like it. Where is the Upper Kingdom fleet, though? They've got 
no ships around. We haven't engaged their fleet anywhere else. I'm confused. I'm very, very confused. Uh, we've got reinforcements being built for the Federation fleet. I haven't sent them in yet. Mandate of Yim is building up some more forces there. How are you guys doing up here? Construction complete. Ooh, Democratic Deary's sons are engaging in multiple systems by the looks of it. What are they facing off against? Ooh, 23k Upper Kingdom fleet. There we go. There they are. But it looks like the Democratic Deary's sons are engaging the Teraphian hierarchy and winning. But they're going to lose out against that, well... It's going to be a close fight against that Upper Kingdom fleet if it's jumping in on top as well. Oh, actually... Yeah, we just attacked something and destroyed it utterly. That was quite quick. What's happening here? What are you guys aiming to do? Moving to Kehinis. What are you guys doing? You're attacking a transport ship. Oh god, that's a... Uh, yeah, one of their transport ships just jumped in on top of that by accident. That's not good. And it's dead, unfortunately. Where are you guys going then? You're heading to Escont. Okay, first fleet is just massacring through. So the Upper Kingdom fleet is nowhere near, to, nowhere near able to defend their territory. Which is quite good for us. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. I have no issues with that. Okay, have we built all the ships? Now we've got one more cruiser. Well, we'll start getting them queued up over there. I mean, the Deary Sons should have more ships somewhere. Ah, uh, looks like they've all pulled back to this system. No, that's the 3.3. Where did that Upper Kingdom fleet go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Pull down to Erinus here. Now, are they going to try and get home? Looks like it. Jumping. Oh, no, they're jumping back to Escon. What? Why are they just jumping around between those two? That's weird. I think they're trying to get home. Although it... That's... No, that's a different fleet. That's a different fleet that's getting its ass handed to it, by the looks of it. Yeah, just jumped in on top of some defensive stations in the Democratic Deary Sons. They're not about to have a good day. One spaceport and one fortress tearing them up. Where did the rest of the Upper Kingdom fleet go, though? Oh, hello. Mandate of Yim are managing to build up their forces. This is what we've got to pay attention to. Hostile fleet engaged. How are we doing? Where are we? We're there. So we've got more your orders. Take out that spaceport, which you're already engaging. Go there, take out anything they've got, and then you're going to take their home system as the plan. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Okay. Hostile fleet I think engaged. overall the war Situation is <laughs> the war is going pretty well. It's going so quickly we can't even see some of the status reports for battles. They are massing forces there. We need to attack that sooner rather than later. Let's start moving this system towards where it can jump out. I'm not too concerned about sieging that planet down. I don't know where the main Upper Kingdom fleet went, though. Oh, is that... No, they've got a couple of ships up there. There it is. Okay, it's still... Wait, what? who's this? The Havariga Imperial Domain. Who the hell are the Havariga Imperial Domain? Oh, they're rebels. They are rebels of the... I don't know, they're a war of us. They're a war of they're a war of everyone. Interesting, okay. Uh, well I don't want to attack you. Deary Sons might. What did happen to the Democratic fleet? Oh, it's back there. Uh, there's not very many ships there, I'm surprised. They should have more than that, surely. Where that can't be their main fleet. Where is their main fleet? Ah, there we go. They got another. Yeah, they got almost thirty thousand down there, and another twelve thousand up there. Okay, they should be fine, even if against that Upper Kingdom fleet. And if that Upper Kingdom fleet doesn't want to come home and defend their territory, I'm pretty much okay with that. I'm gonna take out a bunch of spaceports and then start taking their territory. The only problem we've got to do is deal with that six K fleet there, but that should be 
pretty easy to do once those extra ships have arrived. So I'm going to take a break here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you are enjoying all that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you are. And hopefully I'm going to see you later for the next one of these where we're going to push this war to its pretty much foregone conclusion. Cheers.